So our next speaker is going to be Rodrigo Souza, who's from the Federal University of Bahia in Brazil. Uh, he's going to be talking about Guide Automator, seamless delivery of end user documentation. Thank you. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, this presentation is based on a true story. A few years ago, I was a programmer developing a web application for the university, and my boss told me to write the user guide for this application. And, you know, as a programmer, I like to write code, improve the software, add exciting new features to the software. And writing documentation, especially user guides, is just not that exciting. It is a manual, slow, and painful process. Besides, as an application evolves, the documentation tends to become outdated in any way. Well, back then, I had an idea that could solve some of these problems, and I'll get there, there in a while. But first, what's in a user guide? Well, a user guide, or user manual, is a document that shows end users how to accomplish specific tasks by following a sequence of steps that are often illustrated by screenshots. And in this presentation, I, I use this example, the paper management system, which is a, a toy page application with a user guide containing four screenshots, right? So how do you create a screenshot in the traditional way? So you first uh, open the application, then you create some simple data by interacting with the application. So you go and start some register, okay. Then you follow the steps in the user guide by interacting with the application again. And then you take the screenshot, open it in an image editor, uh, crop it, then you, maybe you highlight some elements with red rectangles, for instance, and paste the final image in the word processor, right? So for, for using this approach, I did a self-experiment and create, created all four screenshots for that simple application. Uh, and I took five minutes, which is fair because it's, it's such a, a small user guide, right? But now, what if there is a change in the UI, such as adding a menu item, or choosing a new font, or changing the background color? How much time do you think I would take to update the, the, the screenshots for this user guide? Well, in this case, roughly the same time, because I would have to recreate all the screenshots. Therefore, Updating screenshots for a user guide is as painful as creating them in the first place. Now let's talk about continuous delivery. Uh, you all know that most software, pla software applications must be continually adapted, otherwise they become progressive less satisfactory, right? But changing the software is not enough. You actually have to release it to users. And that's what continuous delivery is about. Under this approach, every change is potentially releasable. That allows you to release your software multiple times a day if you wish. But if your application has a user guide, that means that you would have to update the user guide upon each change that affected the user interface. So uh, given that updating user guides can be such a slow process, Updating the user guide upon each UI change is not feasible at all. Therefore, I think there, there's a mismatch between continuous delivery and user guides. They, they just don't play well together. So our solution is called Guide Automator, which is a command line tool to automate the creation of screenshots for web applications, for, for user guides of web applications. And so while in the traditional approach to user guides, you are responsible for capturing and editing the screenshots manually, using Guide Automator, you write source code that captures and edits screenshots for you. Uh, it takes as input uh, a file containing both the text and some source code chunks. And the source code chunks are responsible for controlling a Chrome web browser window with the help of Selenium WebDriver 
which is commonly used for uh, acceptance testing. And the output is the user guide complete with screenshots. So let's take a closer look at the input file. It is a plain text file formatted using the markdown markup language. So this is just text, right? And it contains source code chunks written in JavaScript using Guide Automator's API, which has commands for getting a page, taking the screenshot of an element, uh, clicking on an element, highlighting elements, and so on and so forth. And the, the, the HTML elements, they are identified by CSS selectors, which is common in web development. Web de development. So uh, this is the full source code for that four screenshots user guide. Don't try to read it. It's like 45 lines or so. Uh, so how much time do you think I spent writing that source code for that same user guide? So under the traditional approach, five minutes. With Guide Automator, 10 minutes. Actually, it takes longer, which is expected. But now, if there is a significant UI change, how long do you think I would take to update the user guide? Right, in this case, 25 seconds, much less. And it's actually a few seconds typing the command and the rest of the time, you can stretch your arms and legs and watch while Guide Automator will open the, the web browser and do everything for you and captures, add some highlights, captures the screenshots, and in the end, you have an up-to-date user manual with all the, the new screenshots. So, uh, in the long run, we think this is worth the time investment. And it's not only about faster updates, though. With Guide Automator, user guides, they can be integrated in an automated build process. And that also means that if you change something in your software UI without evolving the user guide source code, uh, Guide Automator may fail to generate the user guide and your build can actually break, which, which is kind of a good thing because it, would, it, it is a warning that your user guide needs human intervention. So we performed two small pilot experiments with real-world web applications to evaluate Guide Automator. Uh, in the first one, two participants had to capture 13 screenshots, both using the traditional approach and using Guide Automator. And, well, on average, they took 2.2 times longer to write this user guide with Guide Automator. But on a second experiment, uh, participants, they had to write the user manual for two versions of an application. Uh, so, as expected, they took longer with Guide Automator to write the first version, the, the user guide for the ver first version of the application, but they took much less to update it to the, the newer version. So, uh, for the future, future, we plan to uh, conduct a mining software repositories study uh, by writing the user guide for a, an open source application using Guide Automator, and then trying to build this user guide source code for all commits in, in the system. So we, the, the goal is to answer two questions. How often do screenshots need to be updated? Right? Because if, if they, they need to be updated often, and, and if, if Guide Automator can update it without your help, then it, it's, it's a big win. Right? And the second question is, how often does the user guide break the build? So if you write a user guide source code and every few commits you have to edit it, then maybe it's not worth the effort. So we don't have this answer yet, but this is something we, we are eager to study. On the technical side, 
uh, we noted that some participants, they did not feel comfortable writing source code. Uh, so we plan to create a web browser that writes the code for you as you interact with the browser. Actually, we, we have early, an early prototype on that. It's on GitHub. And Guide Automator currently only works for web applications, but of course the approach can be extended to desktop and mobile applications as well. And also we can use the same approach to generate technical books, uh, slides, and video for training. So uh, we are very excited with this project. We think it can bridge the gap between continuous delivery and user guides. So this is <laughs> Guide Automator. Uh, and if you're interested in collaborating, collaborating there is a, it, it's an NPM package. It's writing, write, written in Node.js. And it has, also has a GitHub page. So just type on Google and search and visit. Or we can talk in the conference. And that's it. Thank you. Time for a few questions.